Have you ever wondered what happens when a narcissist loses control over an empath? Today we're exploring the intriguing world of narcissists and empaths, two distinct personality types that often find themselves intertwined in a complex dance of emotions. Narcissists, individuals known for their inflated sense of self-importance, tend to manipulate others to fuel their need for admiration and attention. They are often charismatic and charming, making it easy for them to draw people in. Enter the empaths, the individuals who are highly sensitive to the emotions and energy of those around them. They are the givers, the healers, the nurturers, often putting the needs of others before their own. It's this very nature that makes them prime targets for narcissists. The dynamics between these two can be intense and often toxic, with the narcissist manipulating the empath's kindness for their own gain. Now let's delve into what happens when this dynamic shifts and a narcissist loses control over an empath. Consider the case of Jane, an empath, and John, a narcissist. Jane, with her empathetic nature, was always in tune with the emotions and needs of those around her. John, on the other hand, was a master of manipulation, using Jane's empathic gifts to his advantage. In the early days, their relationship seemed harmonious. Jane was drawn to John's charisma. She admired his confidence, his drive. John, seeing Jane's empathy as a useful tool, played on her emotions, making her feel needed, cherished. Jane, being the empath she was, felt a deep connection with John, believing she could help him, heal him. Little did she know this was John's modus operandi. As time passed, Jane began to notice a pattern. John's actions didn't always match his words. His compliments often had an undertone of criticism. His love felt conditional, his moods unpredictable. Jane felt like she was walking on eggshells, but she couldn't quite put her finger on why. Then, one day, Jane stumbled upon the concept of narcissism. She read about the manipulative tactics narcissists use, the emotional roller coaster they create. Suddenly, everything fell into place. John's charming facade, his gaslighting, his constant need for admiration, it all made sense. Jane was not his partner, she was his supply. Faced with this realization, Jane found herself at a crossroads. She could continue to be manipulated or she could reclaim her power. And so, Jane began her journey to empowerment. She sought therapy, joined support groups, educated herself about narcissistic abuse. She learned to set boundaries, to prioritize her own needs. She realized that her empathy was not a weakness, but a strength. As Jane grew stronger, John's hold over her weakened. He tried to regain control, but Jane was no longer the same person he had manipulated. She saw through his tactics, his false promises. She stood her ground, no longer willing to be a pawn in his game. John's reaction to losing control over Jane was predictable yet alarming. But that's a story for the next chapter. For now, let's revel in Jane's awakening, her journey to empowerment. After all, it's not every day that an empath breaks free from the clutches of a narcissist. So what exactly did John do when he realized he was losing control over Jane? This question leads us into the heart of our discussion. The Narcissist's Reaction to Losing Control Over an Empath It's a fascinating, albeit unsettling, process to observe. Narcissists, like John, are masters of control. They thrive on manipulating the emotions of others, particularly empaths like Jane, who are naturally sensitive and receptive to the feelings of those around them. But what happens when the empath starts to break free from the narcissist's grip? One common reaction is for the narcissist to try and regain control. They might ramp up their manipulation tactics, using a mix of charm, guilt, and fear to try and reel the empath back in. For example, John might shower Jane with affection one moment, only to guilt trip her the next by saying things like, After all I've done for you, this is how you repay me? Another frequent response is lashing out in anger. The narcissist's sense of self is heavily tied to their ability to control others. When that control is threatened, they can react violently both verbally and sometimes physically. In John's case, he might resort to harsh words, blaming Jane for everything that's gone wrong or even threatening her. Finally, playing the victim is another common tactic. Narcissists are adept at twisting situations to make themselves appear as the wronged party. John might try to paint himself as the victim of Jane's unreasonable demands for independence, hoping to gain sympathy and maintain control. All these reactions have one thing in common. They are attempts to regain the power imbalance that the narcissist thrives on. It's a desperate bid to maintain the status quo, a status quo that serves the narcissist at the empath's expense. These reactions can be extremely distressing, but understanding them can be a powerful tool for empaths. By recognizing these tactics for what they are, empaths can better protect themselves and continue on their journey towards freedom and self-empowerment.
Let's take a look at another example, this time focusing on Mike, an empath, and Lisa, a narcissist. In our story, Mike and Lisa have been in a relationship for some years. Lisa, being a narcissist, had always been the one in control. She manipulated Mike's emotions using his empathetic nature to her advantage. But Mike started to see through her tactics. He began to understand that his feelings were not being respected, that his empathy was being exploited. Mike decided to take a stand. He started to set boundaries, to assert his needs and wants. He communicated clearly, expressing his feelings without fear. He began to detach himself emotionally from Lisa, protecting his own mental and emotional well-being. Lisa, on the other hand, was taken aback. She was not used to losing control. She tried to regain her dominance, resorting to her old strategies of manipulation and emotional exploitation. But Mike, having seen through her tactics, remained firm. He did not let her regain control. He did not let himself be manipulated. Lisa's reaction was intense. She tried to play the victim, to guilt-trip Mike into submission. She tried to make him feel responsible for her happiness. But Mike stood his ground. He knew that his mental and emotional health was important. He knew that he deserved respect and understanding. It was a tough battle, but Mike emerged victorious. He freed himself from Lisa's control. He reclaimed his self-respect and dignity. He proved that it was possible for empaths to stand up to narcissists, to break free from their control. Mike's triumph was not just his own. It was a victory for all empaths who have been manipulated and exploited by narcissists. It showed that it is possible to stand up, to break free, to assert one's own needs and wants. Mike's journey shows us that it is possible for empaths to free themselves from the control of a narcissist. So, what can we learn from Jane and Mike's experiences? The dynamics between narcissists and empaths can be complex and often detrimental. Typically, narcissists thrive on the emotional energy of empaths, using it to fuel their own sense of self-importance. However, when empaths begin to awaken to this dynamic and assert their independence, narcissists can react in a variety of ways. They might increase their manipulation tactics or even resort to aggression in an attempt to regain control. For empaths like Jane, the key to triumph lies in recognizing and understanding these behaviors. It's about setting firm boundaries, practicing self-care, and seeking support when necessary. And for Mike, it's a lesson in the importance of respecting the autonomy and emotional well-being of others. In conclusion, understanding these dynamics can be a powerful tool. It can help you navigate and protect yourself in relationships where narcissistic behaviors may be present. Understanding these dynamics can be a powerful tool for anyone who finds themselves in a relationship with a narcissist.